openly start federalizing all the police, openly put TSA as the national police on the streets, checkpoints searching everybody, federal grants for DNA checkpoints taking blood randomly, just hellish control. Openly announce warrantless spying, openly announce tyranny, openly announce bills to ban free speech. And now when we get back, they come out and say the banks will uh, will rule the nations themselves, not just a world government, then controlling countries through their national security states, their shadow governments, but the banks openly turning off their uh, cloaking device, coming out in the open and announcing they are the government. They point the cannon at you. Over and over again in published books, David Rockefeller said that he would like a autocratic, a fancy way of saying command and control tyranny, authoritarian, world government run by international bankers for their administrative convenience. And they just so happen to be eugenicist. And his father just so happened to finance the entire eugenics movement on a planetary scale on record in the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> you want a world rulers who want to kill you dead in a hammer? That sound like a good idea to you out there? And look, I'm telling you out there, stop being mental midgets and cowards, new listeners. I'm telling you a historical fact. I'm risking my life to bring you this information. This isn't a game. This isn't a joke. It isn't patty cake anymore. You've been warned. This is real. Now, you better go check into the claims I've made. That goes for you police, too, that think you're part of the system. They're shooting you up with the same stuff. You better grow up and listen to me right now for, for self-preservation. Now, this is worse than I even thought. I said in the Obama deception, and I said on October 3rd when they passed the banker takeover bill, I said, they're now going to announce a new bank of the world you pay your carbon taxes to. They did that. It's going to set the interest rates. It's going to set the currency rates. It's going to control every fast of your life. And I want to get into that next after I cover this and how this works. But to have the bill, and I have it here in front of me, openly say that the banks will take over all these illegitimate federal powers the executives already claimed, and then implement, taking over any industries, infrastructure, land, houses. And then I have USA Today and the LA Times with the headline about Barack Obama has planned to bulldoze a fourth of U.S. cities. What? Which is the big new Brzezinski plan. That's how they want to make the economy grow, is to bulldoze all the houses instead of just letting people have them at a lower price because they were overvalued when they were built. I mean, this is an imploding eugenics, zero growth, carbon neutral economy that has nothing to do with the environment. It's about serfdom and control, a command and control economy. We're going to break that down. But look at this AP headline. Democrats plan to pass financial overhaul quickly. Democratic leaders have committed to enacting, by the end of the year, the biggest regulatory revision to the U.S. financial system since the 1930s. It isn't a revision to the financial system. It states later that they'll be able to control everything. Well, the president's already grabbing auto industries and firing CEOs and saying, I control them, and then giving it to foreign companies and governments. An undertaking so ambitious, it has some lawmakers worried about missteps. So see... It isn't about, is this constitutional, is this good? The media is just, oh, it's going to happen, but will they do a good job? Will they save the economy? Remember, if you don't pass the banker takeover bill and give us $14.8 trillion at least, there'll be a depression next week. But if you do this, we'll get the economy going and jobs will come back. And then now, each American just off that bailout owes over $200,000 to offshore banks. We owe them money and interest to money we gave them? The magnitude of this. This is the end of the United States, but it isn't just the U.S. This is a world dictatorship. What did that article in the Financial Times of London say with the headline? With that famous headline. And now for world government. 
It says, oh, yes, it's an authoritarian government, and we've kept it secret from you because, you know, people aren't intellectual enough to understand we have to have it. And there's too many people, and it's a, we've got to have the green revolution, and we're going to have these private bankers run things now. I mean, they're on record. But I thought it would be through treaties and control and through the executives and through the national security grid. Now they're saying the bankers will openly run it and openly do whatever they want, not just stealing tens of trillions every six, seven months, but quickly implementing the system. Now this story is important, and I'm asking every listener we've got to get this and get it on MySpace, YouTube, your email list, every other talk show host, because I keep waiting and thinking other people the last few days since this was announced would understand this when it's stated in the Washington Times and Washington Post that, oh, the bankers will run everything in America and control every industry and anything that affects the economy will be controlled by the private Federal Reserve. Oh, thank God they're going to save us. The news is reporting what's really going on, but saying it's a good thing like it's no big deal. This would be the equivalent of a 10 trillion pound elephant landing on top of New York City, crushing the entire city and no one even noticing. Or going, oh, gee, there's a 20,000 foot tall, 20,000 foot wide, giant fat elephant. And then ho-hum, uh, what's the price of tea in China? Obama regulatory reform plan officially establishes banking dictatorship in the United States. Yes. You see, because they can't just steal five trillion more than the GDP in seven months. They can't just come in and do that. That's why they got the New York Times yesterday reporting they're hiring felons for the new green brigades that are doing audits forcing their way in under city ordinances the feds get passed to force their way in your house. These young criminal punks on power trips, and that's going to be the only jobs available. It's not going to be government make work, building dams or levees or roadside rest stops. No, that's bad enough because it's government control. And it always is given in kickbacks to locals so they'll support the corrupt regime. We already have that with the tens of billions being given to different neighborhood groups, two plus billion, almost three billion to Acorn alone being fenced out. That's local payoffs. And if you're in, in good with the establishment, uh, at GM or Chrysler, your dealership gets to stay open on record. You purchase it from the politicians. Oh, I don't want to have my $15 million or $5 million, depending on the cases that are out there in the news. Uh, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, in one case, a 90 year old dealership just taken from me. Okay. I'll make millions in contributions to you. Good. Then yours gets to stay open. It's just open market fraud, open pure corruption and evil everywhere out in the open. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely off the charts, devastating. They're announcing everything from your hot dog shack on the corner of the street to a car dealership to a doctor's office. Everything's being taken over right now. Every farm, every ranch, every dental office, they've got flotillas of torpedoes destroying every form of free market and liberty. And they're smart. In the first waves, if you go work with them and pay them off, they'll give you a few years to keep operating. And most of the yuppie scum is rolling over, just like they did in Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia. They love it that most of their competition gets shut down, and they're the insiders, and they make the payments. Folks, I've watched these Democrats here in Austin. They steal people's farms, ranches, SWAT team people that don't give them. And then the mayor will openly retire, open a bank he owns, and then sell the stolen land publicly, guarded by men with automatic weapons. I mean, it's just mafia ruling, having their way, doing whatever they want. The police pulling people over all over Texas, just robbing everyone, laughing. I mean, it's just open evil everywhere. And you ain't seen nothing yet. They're going to raise taxes on your farms and ranches, and they're going to bureaucrat you to death, and they're going to take them. 
And they're going to send huge paramilitary squads to kill you and your family if you don't. Unless we stand up and say no now. Period. This is a hot takeover. This isn't some socialist crawling slow stuff. They've decided to loot this place and gut it down to nothing. I'm going to shut up and read this. Obama regulatory reform plan officially established was banking dictatorship in the United States. President Obama's plan to give the privately owned and unconstitutional Federal Reserve complete regulatory oversight across the entire U.S. economy, which is likely to be enacted before the end of the year, will officially herald the beginning of a new form of government in the United States. An ultra-powerful banking dictatorship controlled by a small gaggle of shadowy and corrupt elitists. On record! The new rules would see the Fed given the authority to, quote, regulate any company whose activity it believes could threaten the economy and the markets. You know, forget them using taxpayer money to rig the stock market for themselves and insider trading every day with billions. This is the whole economy.